Guess how hot it is. Oh, it's 100 degrees. That's not an exaggeration. And since it's so hot, I don't want to spend a bunch of time farting around in here on camera uh, and sweating to death. So I'm going to make something that is quick and short covering the five main things that I use to collect and clean all of the hair that I have in my van. So if you are new to the channel, I have hair in my van because I live with my dog Rocky and my cat Archer. Rocky is a blue healer. He definitely sheds a lot. <gasps> and Archer is some type of fat cat. And because it's so hot, they're just molting. It's everywhere. So every day or two, I am using one of these items that I'm about to show you to collect all the hair. So let's just start with the basics of hair collection. And that is a lint roller. And this is one of the only things I used for a long time when I first started living in the van, just because I didn't really know better. And I was going through a roll every few days. You just use a lot. I still use this. Uh, there's certain spots and times when I just want to go quick, say it's like my clothes or something like that. I'll use a lint roller just because it's easy. And there's some spots that are just easier to get to with a lint roller, but it's kind of wasteful. So that's why I just try to stick to this when I'm doing articles of clothing and whatnot, so I don't look like a total hairball when I go out in public. I'm already terrible enough at socializing. Then I was turned on to the Lily brush. This is just a little friction cleaner, and it's not really much bigger than a credit card. But this was one of the first things that I got to reduce the amount of lint roll strips I was using. Could be a little soul patch. It's a really good feeling too. This has a, like a lot of satisfaction when using it. It's like therapeutic. Look at that. Feels good. Then my most recent addition to my hair collection toolkit is the Furs Off. And I forget what this is exactly. It reminds me of a lava rock. A pumice stone? I've never even heard of that. But a viewer of the channel sent me this and said it was one of her favorites to use. And so I had never heard of this. It looked like a space rock of some sort. It's very similar to how this lily brush works. You just rub it across the surface that has hair and it slowly like collects all of it on here. And then I form a massive ball and I collect it all and I keep it in my closet and I make a sweater or something out of it for the holidays. If you want to have something that was made out of recycled materials, a little more earth friendly, this is probably your, your item. So that's three. Now jumping to like my floors and my little throw rugs, I have this guy and this is a Bissell pet hair eraser. Rocky hates the vacuum. It's battery powered, so I could charge it off of my house batteries. And it comes with a roller, which is a must have when you have pet hair and you're vacuuming off carpets and things like that. This thing also comes with a few attachments. So depending on like the material you're vacuuming or if it's a tight little spot, you could still get to it. You do kind of have to empty it out often, depending on how much hair you have, but it's really easy just to pop it off and uh, pull out this little guy and clean it. Ah, uh, I'm making a mess. Is that your hair? And then number five is something super boring, and that is just a little hand broom or brush. Is it considered a broom? when it's this size? Does it depend on if a witch can ride it? I don't really know. I guess they could if they just put it under one foot and balanced. Sometimes you will run out of battery unexpectedly on something like this, and you still need to sweep out your van. I also beat the rugs with this thing. And then I thought I could give like a few honorable mentions. Now this isn't necessarily hair specific. It's called Super Clean and it's just this like sticky goop cleaner. It's like boogers. Maybe the guy who came up with this was like picking a huge booger and then tried to wipe it on something and it was like, 
damn, that just gathered a bunch of the dust in this crack that I couldn't get with my brush. But I, I use it up on like my dash and uh, little air vents and little cracks that I can't get to that are part of the vehicle. Then there's the good old roll of duct tape. If I can't find anything else and if the batteries are dead on that and if I have no more lint roller sheets and I can't find these other items, I will take a piece of duct tape, roll it up. <laughs> and then the very last thing is just my hand. The seats are usually, I just use my hand, roll things into a ball and then whoosh, whip them out the door, or my fans. When I set them to exhaust, just suck up any loose hair right to the grates on top, uh, and you've got to rub those off, or you end up kicking it on in the opposite direction, and it blows all that loose hair in, and it just snows everywhere. It's a hair storm. I still do that, where I'm not thinking or paying attention, and I'm just like, it's hot. <laughs> and it's just hair everywhere. It's a hair wonderland. That's not a bad haul, right? <laughs> that covers it. Those are my five go-to items when collecting hair in my van. Maybe some of you will have pets that are like hypoallergenic and don't really shed, or you will just live in a van without pets. And that's fine too. I will say they make it 10 times more interesting, most of the time for the good, sometimes for the bad. Nonetheless, there's stories to tell and they keep you company and just make the overall experience a lot better. So. I am gladly deal with the day-to-day -day hair. It's a part of what this is. I mean, there's dirt everywhere anyways, and it's just a small space. That's just how it goes. And I'm also allergic to both dogs and cats, just so everyone knows. You know, I do think you can get used to the animals you're around uh, because they don't really flare me up. If I shove my face in Archer's face, I will get all uh, stuffy and itchy-eyed but for the most part, I'm pretty used to these guys. I hope this helps a little bit. Maybe you didn't know about some of these products and you can snag some and give them a shot. And if you already knew about it, that's cool too. And if you know of other items that you have found very beneficial with cleaning up the hair within your home or wherever you're at, let me know. Leave it in the description and I'll give it a look because I'm always on the hunt for different ways to clean and uh, do it more efficiently. So whatever you got, throw it down there and I'd love to check it out. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and bell and go check out some of the merchandise we have for sale. I think I'm gonna put up on the site uh, some of the remaining little keychains that I have. I just got some extras, so I'll put those up for sale. And I have a single mug for sale. So first come, first serve on that. Again, Anomaly Footwear, link in the description. Shoe company, helps support me. And that's it. Short, simple, hope it helped. <laughs>cat and dog hair to my face might not have been the greatest idea. Now I have all this sheer gum in my hair. I don't have any makeup remover. I guess try peanut butter. Okay, I'm gonna wash it off. That totally worked. Boom, Justin's almond butter. Not just tasty, but also a good glue remover. Took it right out. Peanut butter.